Hey there, just saw the update 61 Vecna Unleashed release notes were posted. Thought I'd do a quick reading of them. Special shout out to those of you who are commuting and consuming this on your way to or from work. I know some of you out there like to listen to the videos while they're commuting. I appreciate you. All right, here are the release notes for Vecna Unleashed Update 61 released on Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. Face the power of Vecna. Experience the thrilling climax of the Codex of Infinite Planes saga. High amongst the Sharn City of Towers, something says there is a foot in the halls of Morgrave University. The Codex of Infinite Planes has escaped to the Academy. Has escaped the Academy. That says to the Academy. I think that's supposed to say it has escaped the Academy. And with it comes the dark presence of Vecna and his cult. Now, with the university's vast collection of rare and powerful artifacts under their control, the destiny of not just Sharn, but the entire Ebron plane hangs in the balance. Do you have what it takes to stop Vecna before he claims your universe for his own? Prepare to explore new areas, face perilous enemies, and uncover dark secrets in Vecna Unleashed. By the way, I will put links to these release notes as well as uh, a link to how you can purchase Vecna Unleashed in this video description. Unleash the power of the Macrotechnic with a new epic destiny, battle powerful creatures that have been unleashed amongst the halls and experience new dungeons that will push you, your group, to the limit. The latest Dungeons and Dragons online expansion, Vecna Unleashed, is available to purchase now. Learn more on DDO.com. Includes 13 dungeons and a new raid. Raid coming soon. Our most recent news is it was going to come three to four weeks after the expansion was released. To acquire any of your purchased items, speak to McCrawl in the Clifftop Tower District of Sharn. Enter the Morgrave University Air Shuttle nearby to travel to Morgrave University. Access Vecna Unleashed content through the Air Shuttle by traveling to Upper Morgrave University. Ultimate edition purchasers of Vecna Unleashed can travel to Upper Morgrave University using their teleportation item. Players can travel to the Clifftop Tower District by accessing Sharn through their Sharn teleportation item or through the docks in the harbor. News and notes, balance and adjustments. We've adjusted 13 distinct features across seven classes and two universal trees to provide a larger holistic set of changes meant to intrigue players, uh, character builders, and shore up some statistical weaknesses. These adjustments include action point cost reduction, cooldown reduction, and generalized buffs meant to bring up underused specs and add excitement across the board. Harper Agent cores 1, 6, and 18 now give plus 1 to hit and damage and not just hit and damage versus evil. 420 now gives plus 2 to all ability scores and plus 1 to hit and damage, plus 5 to hit and damage versus evil, and plus 20 universal spell power. Weathered Traveler Tier 1 now gives 246 energy resistance. Swashbuckler. Battering Barrage. Cost reduced from 2 per rank to 1 per rank. Thread the Needle now gives plus 5% to hit, percentage bonus based on precision, while precision is toggled on. War Chanter. Spinning Ice, Frozen Fury, and Scaldic Scream now uses the highest of Dex, Charisma, or Strength for their DCs. Their DCs are now 0 times the Bard level, slash half the Bard level, slash 1 times the Bard level. Respectively, I guess that means. And 10, 12, 14, Scaldic Scream is 1 times Bard level and 14. Spinning Ice is now a 3-4-5 weapon damage cleave. North Wind's cost has been reduced from 2 per rank per, to 1 per rank. Sorcerer Savant, Tier 5, Actives Scale with highest of Charisma or Constitution, and not just Constitution. Earthen Armor, Tier 4 Earth Savant is now plus 3-6 armor class. Ninja Spy, Tier 2 and Tier 4, Dark Key upgrades now grant plus 1 to hit and plus 2 to damage to match similar enhancement lines. Tier 5, Touch of Despair now grants plus 3 to hit and plus 3 to damage to match similar enhancement lines. Shintao, Tier 2 and Tier 4, Light Key upgrades now grant plus 1 to hit and plus 2 to damage to match similar enhancement lines. Henshin Mystic, 
Lighting the candle now applies the fire portion of its imbue to key spells. Class Monk Quivering Palm has a new DC formula, DC 10 plus Monk level plus highest of dex or wisdom modifier plus assassinate bonuses. It also now gains plus 2 DC on a failed saving throw. Assassin. All of the active poison attacks up the line are now plus 3 weapon damage. Use full rogue level for their DCs instead of half. Factor in assassinate bonuses for their DC. And now make certain enemies that would be immune to poison weak to poison. Ice Chill, Undead, Heartseeker, Elemental, Soul Shatter, Outsiders. Vistani. Kukri's now function with this tree. With the exception of the core 12, which only gives plus one multiplier. This keeps them in parity crit wise with daggers as they naturally have plus one threat range over them. Archmage. Master of Magic Core 20 now also grants plus 20 universal spell power and increases from plus 2 intelligence to plus 4 intelligence. Efficient meta magics have had have their action point cost reduced from 2 to 1 since Archmage having meta magics. Be good seems flavorful. Spell penetration has its action point cost reduced from 2 to 1. Energy of the Scholar has its action point cost reduced from 2 to 1, matching other trees. Force 12 and 18 now grant a generic plus 1 to caster level and max caster level. Vanguard. Stunning shield cooldown reduced to 45, 30, 15 seconds. Shield rush cooldown re reduced to 40, 30, 20 seconds. Bug fixes. Ravager's Laughter now reliably adds fury to your character. The challenge XP panel is no longer a string table error. Consecration now heals hirelings. Note this note was erroneously in update 60 release, but is actually here. You have items in the store queue and clear the queue. The queue icon now properly clears itself from you when the queue is empty. Lighting the candles buff now has the correct text for real this time. Fixed a mass a mess of errors and typos in the Tavern Keeper's logic in the harbor. Augmented Summons feat from temporary sources will now work on hirelings. The Augmented Summon buff will no longer be stripped from hirelings when they die. Various Summon enhancements from the Warlock Enlightened Spirit Tree and Magus Destiny will now work on henchmen again and also not be stripped on death or rest. Knockdown animations on Pixies will no longer blip. Caster level scaling should now work as expected on all rune arm shots. Huge black puddings can no longer subdivide into eight slimes and now have a maximum subdivision of four. The third tier of Morgrave University favor now grants plus two save versus magical beasts. Equipping a rune arm should no longer hide your main hand weapon. Archmage's heightened meta magic no longer erroneously requires character level 12. Shield specialization line's damage bonus is now visible to the player. Nature's protector's natural armor bonus now correctly stacks. General changes. Tomes of learning and epic tomes of learning, both greater and lesser, have been upgraded and now check each tier of difficulty independently determine if you have if you are repeating a quest. This means that completing a dungeon on Heroic will not count as completed for the Epic Tome, so you'll be eligible for the Tome's first time bonus again separately. A set of performance updates have been applied to the game that affect combat bonuses, spell casting, login times, and regen in public spaces in an effort to reduce generalized and gameplay lag. Dretches will now pitch goo a little more frequently when being kited. Enemy casters will have a longer cooldown when casting Comet Fall to make it less spammy. The legendary Dread Isles Curse set now correctly lists its profane attack and damage bonus value in its tooltip. The volume of combat music in Fables of the Feywild and Sinister Secret Assault Marsh has been lowered. UI. You can no longer move the rune arm charge UI. This change corrects an issue 
that was making it sometimes difficult to attack while charging a rune arm. The DDO store logo has been shifted so it no longer blocks interaction. With header links when purchasing subscriptions, known issues. The DC boost portion of Quivering Palm is currently granting plus two DCs instead of plus four. And that is your update 61 release notes, Vecna Unleashed. And that comes out Wednesday, August 16th. We'll be doing a first look all day on my Twitch channel, Voodoo Spice. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you there soon.